All right, to battleground New Brunswick, where, with an election set for the fall, it looks increasingly as if abortion could be one of the central campaign issues. There's one abortion clinic right now in New Brunswick, but unlike other provinces where the cost of abortion is covered by provincial health care plans, successive liberal and progressive conservative governments have refused to add abortion to the list of the services that the provincial taxpayer would pay for. So, to get an abortion at the New Brunswick clinic, women have to pay about 800 bucks out of their own pocket. And here's another rule, they have to get two doctors to sign off on the treatment. Well, the clinic now says it can no longer afford to operate unless the services it provides are covered by the New Brunswick health care plan. So it will close this summer. Today, outside the Fredericton legislature, a few hundred pro-choice demonstrators demanded that progressive conservative premier David Allward's government include abortion in provincial health care plans. They also want to drop that rule. The NDP's Dominic Carty says if he's premier after the fall election, he'll do just that. The liberal leader, Brian Gallant, says he'd review the current policy. Well, former federal conservative staffer David McLaughlin joins us now. You know the history of this place. Mm -hmm. um, that's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And it's really, the, the closure of this clinic has really put this on, on, on the issue. Sure has. And it's an issue that politicians know, there's no <laughs> votes here. And you were telling me that this, this two-doctor rule, this mm -hmm. compromise that liberals and progressive conservatives had for a long time, starts with Frank McKenna. Absolutely. 1989, famous regulation 8420 under mm -hmm. the Medical Services Payment Act, which put in place this rule that uh, if you were go going to get an abortion paid for under for health via health insurance, you had to have the written approval of two doctors, two physicians, uh, with the definition that it was medically necessary. And of course, that definition can be in stretched. Other words, the mother's health would be compromised. That's the abs yeah. Absolutely. So you got to think back to where society was, Canada and, and New Brunswick, even at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And for some, that was a step too far in traditional New Brunswick society, and for others, it was, of course, never enough. But that consensus, as your intro pointed out, as you said, has really been the you know, state of play in New Brunswick on this file ever since. And so successive governments, liberal and conservative, have actually quite up, uh, have upheld it and quite you know, uh, properly adhered to it in terms of political terms, I guess. Folks on both sides of this debate, when I say folks, yeah. activists on both sides of the yes. debate, you know here in Ottawa, the, the single largest rally you're going to see every mm -hmm. year is the anti-abortion rally, the pro-life folks. They want to change the laws. Uh, and my sense is, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, mm -hmm. you'd like our politicians to have some clarity federally. And here in New Brunswick, both sides are going to gear up, and they want Absolutely. their politicians to say, where do you stand on this? And a politician doesn't want to have to answer that question. No, <laughs> no this, is, this is kind of a, a no-win situation for any politician. That. But the reason why New Brunswick becomes so interesting in this place is, A, it's an election year. Right. But, B, it's the last province in, in Canada with this kind of fettered access, if you will, mm -hmm. to abortions. The Morgenthaler Clinic now... The two-doctor rule. The two-doctor rule. Yeah. The Morgenthaler Clinic, now slated to close in July in Fredericton, is the only such clinic east of Montreal. So there will be a, an issue for, for people, uh, for women who are looking to have have an abortion who are even you know uh, who are trying to find a way out of that dilemma uh, to have to travel elsewhere they'll have to pay for it so there's lots of you know hardship and heartache if you will associated with that uh, that uh, but you know this the, uh, the fact that the rule is also being subject to some legal kind of uh, questions as well makes it prime sort of political battleground for people to come in and try to either uh, pro-choice or, or uh, pro-life side to uh, get the rules and the law uh, in place in a way that you know s fits their you know worldview. Th this could be an interesting election uh, just because this is probably the first time that the mm -hmm. New Democrats are going to be maybe a factor yes. in uh, a certain handful of races. Could mean difference minority, majority, mm -hmm. even government. And the NDP has sort of thrown the wedge in here saying we're all for making sure protecting abortion Absolutely. access rights and covered by the yep. health care and just like That's every right. other province. So Trying to put the Liberals and Brian Gallant on, under the, some, spot. on the spot. Ab it's Absolutely. And what you have is, you know, new opposition leader Brian Gallant, untested, you know, has won his own seat, but mm -hmm. untested in a provincial uh, campaign, but riding high in the polls. So you kind of wonder, like, you know, why are you, you know, trying to make this an issue for you? Uh, because it is typically a no-win issue. It galvanizes one group you, of you'll people. You'll shake some progressives off of him over to the NDP over side, the, or shake them back to Allward, and you can figure you can afford that. Absolutely. That's the risk that you know yeah. I would see politically that he's undertaking. And for uh, Premier Allward, of course, you know, adhering to the to, you know to the current rules and regulations reinforces his base mm -hmm. in particular parts of rural New Brunswick, uh, and that have voted conservative, uh, and at a time when he needs that because he's been riding low in the poll. So I don't see, in political terms, a real upside for Mr. Gallant and the 
liberals on it. Uh, hence their will review things and hope nobody will asks review. Us once Well, we you know, you got to be careful in politics of chasing demonstrations, you know, as they say, and, and signing every petition well, that comes Well, hold on a second. Let, let's talk about the demonstration mm -hmm. today because you yes. were mentioning as well, uh, I thought it was remarkable that a minister of All Words Government mm -hmm. spoke to these demonstrators who are angry with the government. Right. You don't see that often here in Parliament, and so did representatives of the Liberals and the Democrats. Absolutely. This is a tradition in New Brunswick, and it's a great democratic tradition. Actually having that demo on the lawn in front of the legislature, mm -hmm. it's democracy in action. I mean, people in New Brunswick do call it the people's house, and it has that kind of you know, local, very citizens-oriented sort of feel to it where you do a demo in front of the legislature when the legislature is in, in session, and those politicians that don't come out and at least give some response or answer that, you can hear them. You can hear the crowds heckling you if you're on the floor of the legislature. And you know it's you're going close. to get heckled when you come out and, and you, speak to them, but you, you better do that better, rather than stay inside. Absolutely. So it's actually, you know, it's, it's a neat kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess, a uh, fragment of our democracy and our traditions that, was, that people in New Brunswick still hold to, and I think it's good. It's another way of keeping people to account. But what you also saw was, uh, was uh, Liberal Leader Gallant go out mm -hmm. and actually, he had an opposition staffer hand out his you know, political policy it's position. Too long on, to explain in a stump speech. It's pretty hard. You yeah. know, when it's boiled down to pro-life or pro-choice, it's hard to put nuances in there. Uh, but you know, uh, we'll see whether or not this review thing kind of holds for him uh, politically. You, when you're in opposition, you don't like anything the government does. So what do you do? You either say no or you review it. Right. The problem is, if you keep reviewing things, people will say, "Well, what do you stand for?" So it's not a. We go back to where you started, David. It's really a no-win. Uh, kind of file for, for politicians, but it's a fascinating piece because New Brunswick is, as I said, the last kind of bastion for this in the country uh, for having this kind of rules of engagement, if you will, about procedures for, for abortions compared to any other province in the country. This, so this could be an issue. Fracking is going to be an issue. Absolutely. And both those we know we've seen elsewhere. Uh, obviously, they're, they're, they get people riled up could improve turnout. When people get riled up, you get lots of people voting. When you have an issue that people are con uh, you're concerned about, you're motivated to vote. It's something we've been talking about with the Fair Elections Act here right. in, uh, in you know here in, in uh, Ottawa on Parliament Hill. And and I think this election where you if, what David Allward needs to do is of course motivate his his right. base because he's been so down in the polls. But what you've seen is uh, Mr. Galant and the Liberals they've been riding high, but there is a bit of a sense that it's not quite as strong. It's not quite a, you know as uh, that support not quite as strong as it might have been. It's and more been anti Allward as opposed to pro -glant. Absolutely. Yeah. So he's got to try to grab some of that and attract it to him. It's, it's questionable whether this stance on abortion will actually do that. And as you pointed out as well, Dominic Cardi, the NDP, being quite effective at sort of wedging between the two parties. And there's a reason why the NDP and Dominic Cardi in particular have been riding, have been third. He, he's, but, he but said this not week bad. he's going to eliminate small business taxes. That's going, wow, David Allward has only dropped it to 4%. So, so here's another uh, sort of surprise from the NDP. Absolutely. You have them kind of trying to eat support from the, uh, from yeah. the progressive conservative side. So if you have a, uh, you know, he's uh, saying help lower taxes on, on small business. He's talking about eliminating jobs and agencies and government. Oh, yeah. Sounds Absolutely. kind of conservative to me. So, But uh, he'll fund an abortion clinic. And the conservatives will go, well, I, I, you had me up to that point, perhaps. We'll It'll wait, be fun wait and see. I mean, New Brunswick is shaping up to be a very curious election and a very intrigue an interesting election for some of the things we've been talking about. Yeah, no, David McLaughlin, thank you for coming in. My Appreciate pleasure. It.